In this video I'll be checking how does Nobara 40 compare to Windows 11 24H2 and Windows 10 in games at 1440p and 4K with RT on and off. When it comes to Windows 11 24H2, I'll be using the Insider Preview version with the latest updates applied to it and Core Isolation turned off. By default this option was disabled when first installed but I disabled as well the other security measures seen in this section. Moving on to Windows 10. I have downloaded the latest ISO available and applied all the updates to this date. I'm not sure if the patch that improves performance for Ryzen CPUs is available on Windows 10 as it is for Windows 11 as a standalone update. When it comes to Linux, at the time of the recording I used the latest kernel version and the latest open source drivers available for the 7900 XTX. I applied all system updates to make sure that all new released games will work properly on Linux. As I will be checking on a regular basis the performance difference between Windows and Linux when it comes to gaming, consider subscribing to the channel as this will help it grow. I want to mention that the GPU is not overclocked, all the results will be with the default setting and power. I will be using the full Adrenaline installation, not the minimal one this time around. I will show side-by-side -side runs for all three OS's with the graphics settings used. After the side-by-side -side runs, I will gather all the results and create separate charts for RT on and off at both resolution and other graphs where you will see the performance difference in percentage compared to Windows 11 for the other OS's. Also, at the end, I will share some insights regarding the free OS's and issues that I encountered during testing. If interested, the test configuration can be seen in the video description. Before moving forward, I'm sorry to report that I deleted some footage by mistake and kept the wrong ones. So, this is why in some side-by-side -side runs, like Star Wars Outlaws and Black Myth Wukong runs, you will have only the results without the footage. I realized my mistake when I started to edit this video. to see you.
Anna and Rose were in my eyes. She's such a cool one. Like Brad just now. <laughs> huh. The seagull. Mr. Or, or something. Oh. That's. Now that you mention it.
before we dive in in the 1440p results with RT off, the first bar represents the results for Windows 10, the second one for Windows 11 24H2 and the last one for Nobara 40. Looking at the results, all three operating systems deliver almost similar experience for gaming with a few differences here and there. Windows 10 seems to underperform a bit in Alan Wake 2 and Cyberpunk 2077, trailing by about 6 frames per second, while Nobara 40 enjoys a big lead in Ratchet and Clank, Windows 11 is the most consistent with small victories in Remnant 2 and Outcast a new beginning. And here are the performance differences in percentage when comparing Windows 10 and Nobara 40 to Windows 11. Feel free to pause the video if needed. Now, when we enable RT, not all games from the previous chart have it. Star Wars Outlaws is the only game that you can't disable RT. I tested it with all set to low, so that is why at 1440p we have such good performance from Nobara 40, managing to deliver better frames than Windows 10 and it's on par with Windows 11. With that said, when heavy duty RT is enabled, Linux falls behind to both Microsoft OS's, as it can be seen in Alan Wake 2, Black Myth Wukong and Cyberpunk 2077. I consider a margin of error any performance difference of around 3% or lower. Linux still has a long way in catching up with Windows when it comes to heavy duty RT as low RT settings seem to deliver similar performance to Windows. Now we have the performance difference in percentage for both Windows 10 and Nobara 40 compared to Windows 11. Increasing the resolution to 4K with RT off doesn't change the dynamics. Nobara 40 leads in Ratchet and Clank alongside Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 while underperforming in Final Fantasy 16. Windows 11 seems to fare better than Windows 10 as it enjoys a small lead in Remnant 2 while in the other games it's basically tied with Windows 10. It seems that with the latest patches Windows 11 is now viable for AMD CPUs and the move from Windows 10 will not bring performance degradation anymore. As before, you can see the performance difference in percentage when compared to Windows 11. When enabling RT at 4K coupled with upscaling, Nobara 40 loses steam yet again in heavy ray tracing games. It trails in Alan Wake 2, Cyberpunk 2077 and Black Myth Wukong by a big margin. Again, Windows 11 seems to fare a bit better than Windows 10, but not by much. Feel free to pause the video to see the differences in percentage. Nobara 40 seems to be a viable option for gaming as it can be seen from the non-RT charts. It performs really well on AMD GPUs, so if you want to take the plunge and try it for yourself, you will not be disappointed. But before you do so, let me make it clear that not all games that you want to play may work on Linux. For instance, I tried to add as well F124 to this comparison, but there was no way to make it work at the time of making the video as it can be seen on the screen. I think Linux has gone a long way and is steadily becoming a viable alternative to Windows for gaming. But Windows still has the edge, as it is consistent as well when we enable RT, while Linux for the time being loses a lot of performance in some games. I would consider Linux an operating system that is not best suited for uninitiated users. With Linux you'll have to get your hands a bit dirty, as opposed to Windows, because, for example, when using other store clients than Steam, like Heroic Launcher or Lotris, you'll have to juggle between Wine and Proton to make sure that the game will work. Now moving on to Microsoft's OS's, Windows 11 and Windows 10, I believe that now for AMD CPUs, Windows 11 is viable, it doesn't perform worse as in most cases it wins by a small margin. Will this be enough to make people leave Windows 10 behind? I don't think so, as the performance improvements are small, at least in the games that I tested. Let me know in the comments below which operating system are you rocking. And that's it for this video, I hope it was helpful. To help the channel grow, drop a comment below, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.